you would like more tips on painting please subscribe to my channel to check out my upcoming videos welcome back to my another painting video today i'm going to paint a beautiful landscape of poon hill the mountains i'm painting today is Dhaulagiri range in this painting for the sky i'm using orange vermilion red crimson red white and ultramarine blue for the dark tone that is the tone of blue i'm mixing crimson red ultramarine blue and white the color i got from the mixer is similar to the brilliant purple color for the light tone of the sky i mix orange white yellow and vermilion red I will also make a third tone and for that I will mix the two tones and white. This color will be lighter than the two other colors that we previously made. With my big fan brush, I picked some color and then started to apply in the sky. Now I am applying the tone of orange with my big fan brush. You can use any brush you want but since I feel comfortable with fan brush I will be using this brush for the sky. Now it's time to apply the blue tone in the sky. I feel the sky is pretty good now. So I'll move towards the mountain. I will pick the same orange stone that we made for the sky and I will apply it on the mountain. I'm using the same blue tone that we used in the sky and this time we'll use this color to make the shade part of the mountain. This mountain is known as Mount Taulagiri. Taulagiri 1 is the 7th highest mountain in the world at 8167 meters that is 26,795 feet above the sea level and the highest mountain within the borders of single country Nepal. It was first climbed on May 13, 1960. For the another tone of the mountain, I am mixing the two tones that I previously used in the sky. The tone of orange and the tone of blue. In this painting, only the top part of our mountain will be shiny. That is the part I have painted with orange tone. Now I am mixing ultramarine blue, crimson red, white and orange to give another tone on the mountain. In this painting our light source is from the right. There are some parts of mountain that are not shown in the video, but I am painting those mountains as well.
you can see the strokes are very thin in my painting. To get those kind of strokes, you need to pick very little color from the edge of your palette knife and then just tap it very lightly on the canvas. The thinner strokes you give, the better the mountain will look. Now I'll make the color for the highlights of the mountain. For that I'll take very little yellow and orange and mix it with the white. And with my palette knife I will start to give strokes on the mountain. I will not cover the orange part of the mountain fully. I will give the strokes only in the places that I want the strokes to be in. I will give one last highlight in the mountain again. For that, I will mix white and very little chrome yellow. After the mixing is done, I will apply it on the mountain. As I told you earlier, thinner the strokes, better it will look. That is the reason I am giving very thin strokes as a highlight. After making the mountain shiny, now I will make color for the shade part of the mountain. That is to highlight the shade part of the mountain. For that I mix white, ultramarine blue, orange, chrome yellow and crimson red. I will apply this color in all the required places. Take your time and make the mountain perfectly as a beautiful mountain will take our painting to another level. I am mixing white, blue and purple and also just a very little touch of orange to highlight the set part of the mountain more. Sometimes I really want to give very thick strokes in the painting. I think I'm done making the mountain. Now I'll move towards the hills. I will make two tones for the hills. One is a blue tone and another orange tone. For the dark tone, I am mixing crimson red, ultramarine blue, white, orange, vermilion red. For the lighter tone, 
I will mix the color we just made and orange. This time the tone of orange will be more. With my palette knife, I'll put some colors on the canvas. Once I'm done with the orange tone, now I'll put the blue tone or the dark tone in the heels. I am done giving rough shape to the heels. Now I'll make some fogs just below the heels. To paint fog, I took some white and very little touch of blue and started merging with the colors of heels. Mixing white, very little touch of ultramarine blue, orange, vermilion red and chrome yellow, I'll make highlight color for the hill. With my palette knife, I'll pick some colors and start highlighting the hill. I will make another tone for the highlight. For that, I will mix ultramarine blue and previous tone that we made for the highlight of the hill and white. Picking colors with my palette knife, I will apply the colors in the required places. These highlights are snow. This painting scene is of winter. That is the reason we are having so many snow in the painting. Taking my thin round brush I'll take direct blue and then give some depth to the hills. Adding this dark blue in the hills is making our hills different than it was earlier.
after adding the dark blue tone in the hills now i'll mix white and the blue and then give more snow to the hill I think I'm done with the hills too. Now I'll come down and make some trees that are very far away in our painting. To make the trees that lives very far away in our painting, I'm mixing ultramarine blue, white and crimson red. And taking the color with my thin round brush, I'm applying it on the canvas giving the shape of tree. These blue colored trees live very far away from the trees that I will be painting later on. To highlight these blue trees, I am mixing brilliant purple, white and blue and Picking the color with my thin round brush, I am tapping to the right side of the tree. These light blue tones are our leaves of the trees. I will mix black, crimson red, orange and yellow to make the trees that leaves closer than the blue trees that we have in our painting. Once I am done spreading the color, I will take thin round brush and start giving shape to the trees. I want about 6 to 7 trees at the right side of our painting. I am really loving this brown tone that I am using to make trees. some direct black, I'll give some depth to a tree and then make outline for the land. I am mixing brilliant purple, vermilion red, white, chrome yellow and green to highlight the trees. Picking the color with my thin round brush, I'll start making leaves of the trees. This painting will be very colorful and very good looking I guess. When the paintings are done in patches, like this painting, it is better to look it from far away or half eye closed.
to highlight the trees more i will mix white green yellow orange and brilliant purple After mixing colors, I will take some colors with my palette knife and then start applying on trees. By mixing yellow, orange, brilliant purple, and white, I will highlight the trees more. For the final highlight of the trees, I will mix yellow, white and the remaining colors on my canvas. Now it's time to clean my palette and then mix black and burn sienna. I'm gonna make bushes with this color. Again picking color with my thin brush, I'm going to make some bushes. After giving shapes to bushes, now I'll mix orange and green to make the highlights of the bushes. I am mixing red in the same color to make the bushes more colorful. With a mixture of red, white and the remaining colors on the canvas, I am giving more highlights to the bushes.
mixing vermilion red and white i'll give final highlights to the bushes after highlighting the bushes i'll put some green on those bushes to give the impression of some leaves Now I'll spread the remaining colors of my canvas, I mean my canvas palette and there will be our ground, a snowy ground. Mixing ultramarine blue white and red i'll give some snow to the ground I'll put thick layer of vermilion red with my palette knife to make some grasses. After putting the thick layer of vermilion red, I'll pull it with the tip of my knife to give the shape of some grasses. Mixing blue and white, I made a color to highlight other grasses. Mixing very little touch of yellow on white, I made the color for the snow.
I will give some more depth to the trees by using direct black color. Using the same color that I used for the highlights of the snow, I'm giving more highlights to the bushes. Sometimes I feel a painting is very incomplete without a human being. So I think I should make a tracker in this painting. Picking direct black with my thin round brush, I'm giving shape to the tracker. Using blue leg, I'm making the dress of a trigger. I am using orange to make the pant of trigger. Just mix white and the blue leg to highlight the dress of Draco. And I'll do the similar process to highlight the pants of Draco. This Draco holds a stick with his left hand. I want some flowers in those trees, some red flowers. We have come to an end of this painting tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this painting tutorial. Please comment below and let me know whether this painting lesson was helpful or not. Do not forget to like the video and subscribe Art Candy. Thank you. Have a nice time. Stay good. Stay
Stay safe. Bye-bye.